with that. Comes right on, it's ready for me. This is my old MacBook Pro. I got that like senior year, senior year, my second year of grad school. It is super, super old, as heavy as a rock, runs really slow. So I said, self, it is time to upgrade. This is a really cool feature. It's like my phone. all of that display stuff I am here and look at the most amazing feature this touch bar it is so cool you can change the volume right here and then I haven't literally just turned it on so I don't know what we're gonna see Google's all over the place to go, right? But then I can search. Oh, how did it just bring me to YouTube? Look at that, the Mac be knowing. Okay, so now I am back on YouTube. I'm on a separate account. If y'all didn't know, YouTubers do this. They go, oh no, you're on my emails. They play their videos on a separate account, uh, YouTuber hack. So I can see it on the touch bar and move back and forth to my calendar, do my nails, move back and forth to my calendar or my YouTube screen from the touch bar. That is so dope. And then I could search something and it pops up there. I can go to Twitter, Facebook, change the lighting and the volume. That is so, let's play in the video. If you guys haven't watched, you need to watch this video. Let's pause that for a second. So, why I got this one, I originally wanted the MacBook Air. And the girl was saying, like, if I was to get the MacBook Air, maybe get, like, the next one up. But she's like, if you're going to do that, then that's equivalent to the same price as the MacBook Pro. And it wasn't that much more expensive. I mean, you know, obviously after spending this type of money, $5 in difference, I'm exaggerating, <laughs> um, isn't that big of a deal. But I also wanted something lightweight. So this is lightweight. The air is much lighter, but this is still, you know, doesn't feel like a ton of bricks. So I'm excited for this. I'll try to figure out some more lovely features and let y'all know. But I think the two bar, the touch toolbar and the touch with your finger is one of the main features of this MacBook. This is the 13 inch. A little screen is okay with me. I'm really excited to be able to like throw my videos on here because I'll be taking up so much room on my phone. It's ridiculous. So far, I love it. It's easy to use. It's very sleek. And I don't know, it's just like smooth, like smooth operator. This is a really cool feature. I don't think you need it, but it was nice to open something and just use my finger like my phone. I feel like we've gotten accustomed to just touching things and having them open. Maybe my photos are on the cloud. I'm not even sure, but I was able to get them all right here in my videos on the food crawl. Like I just opened it and it was there. Maybe it's iCloud, I have no idea. How many pictures I take to try to get a good selfie, okay. And then like with the toolbar thing, like I can edit a picture just using the touch bar or like scrolling back and forth. Oh, oops, good thing. So that's really dope. If I land on this one, I can heart it, make it my favorite, edit it, move it. There I go, there I go. I can 
also like make it brighter. So there's that one turn the volume up. That's not what I want to do. Make it brighter. So if you're someone that like plays and edits with your photos a lot more than I do, I mean I do a little bit. Oh jeez, hello. That was not what I was looking for. Oh, let me play some tunes. Oh, gotta put my Adam music. All right, we in business. I had to log in. One of my favorite things to do at work when I had an Apple was like play my Apple music playlist. My job doesn't have Apple computers anymore, so that's been whack. But you know, I've been listening to Evie Eve in preparation from verses, still like listening to her. So I am hyped that it already has like my favorite playlist. This is the Black Love playlist. Hello. Back to my pictures. And here we go. Take me back to St. Martin. If you have not watched, you gotta watch my travel vlogs. This is our Airbnb. Oh, it was amazing. Here's another great feature. I don't know if this is for all new MacBooks, but my screen is locked. I unlocked it with my watch. Just having my watch connected and wearing it, obviously, <laughs> unlocked my screen. So I went here lock screen, closed it, and oh, look at that. Dope, it's so cool. Ugh. This is an adapter so that I can use um, a USB to charge my phone, watch anything. Because now they don't have USB ports anymore. Take this out so y'all can see. So, if anyone is, come on, focus, considering getting this, you would have to get the adapter. It wasn't that much, but it's just like, come on, y'all. We just can't keep it, why, why do we have to get rid of the USB? So yeah, you might wanna get more than one, um, but this stayed the same, which is cool, so you can still plug in, you know, headphones if you need it. Other than that, that was the other thing I wanted to say with lovely Apple products. They will keep you on your toes and make you spend extra money just to charge my phone. But the other one is for the laptop charger. I also bought this to go with it, like a nice little sleeve. It fits in here so nicely and so lightweight and this has some padding. This was perfect because I work virtually and I needed to you know, work in a different location that wasn't my house. So I could just slide this in here easily and put it in my book bag and it was so sleek. So this was at the Apple store. This is, they didn't have really cute ones. So I will say that if you want something a little more stylish than black, then get it off of Amazon <laughs> because nah, this is, this is what they had. One last thing that I really, really like is this bar because I was using my iMessages and I was like, how am I gonna send emojis? And so it has my frequently used emojis, like, and I can search them, which is even better. And then they pop up right here. So this is really cool. I thought this would be kind of pointless, just like an extra gadget, but it really does come in handy. So if you're considering getting a new Apple product or Mac, I know it's not cheap. I know it's not easy, but I like that I could just like open and close and go and it works fast. Unlock it with my watch is a really cool feature. So it's been about two weeks since I've first recorded and I still love it. Thanks for watching.